All right, here we go. We're in the dining hall. Somebody's fighting. I hear people scruffling, muffling, tussling. Hey. What's going on here? Oh. Coyote, perfect timing. My man, I thought he had some ha hair on his arms. I was about to say, like, damn, he's got some hairy arms. But it was just the background or the overlay. I really don't know what to do, Coyote. Ryoma started talking crazy. <laughs> All I was doing was making a suggestion so that more people can survive, even if it's just one more. Damn. So what's popping, my dude? His suggestion. Perhaps you should hear it as well. Well, kill the robot, right? He wants to kill the robot. Um. So that more people can survive. What do you mean by that? Don't you get it? If time runs out like this, we'll all get annihilated, you know? The only way to avoid this is to play along with this killing game. Huh? Wait, now hold on a minute. Kill me. Kill me. Whoa! Huh? What are you saying, bro? Sheesh. You don't get that either. I'm saying that I'll give you guys my life. I... I don't have a reason to live anymore. Well? So if you, if the rest of you want to live, I'll hand my life over to you. That's wrong. We promised we'd get out together. <laughs> I hope it didn't end that way. That's why I waited so long to bring this up. Well, we've just been waiting for the deadline without doing anything to change it. In other words. There's no more time left for idealism, don't you think? Uh... No, it's not idealism. However. This is your best choice for this situation. How, whoever murders me gets to leave without a trial. Everyone else survives the time limit. After that, the person who gets to escape can go for help and rescue everyone else. Well? How about it? If you got a better idea, I'd love to hear it. Um, um well... What should I do? Maybe I, if I share Suichi's plan with him, Ryoma will change his mind. Actually... There's no need for that. Hmm. I'm going to end this game. Because I'm going to end this game. What? I've made my decision. What? Huh? You're gonna end this game, but how? Hey. It's not about outfoxing everyone in this killing game. It's about ending the game itself. That's the real goal. However. Can you even accomplish such a feat? Oh yeah. I wouldn't be saying this if I didn't think I could. Then. And how will you end it? You understand that the time limit expires tonight, yes? <laughs> Sorry, I can't tell you. Actually, if I could, I wouldn't be having so much trouble. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? I'm going to end this game. Get it? What the? So don't any of you go and do anything unnecessary, all right? Uh-oh. What? Unnecessary. You've still got a ways to go. When you put it like that, it seems like I still have a ways to go. Got it. I take back my suggestion. Do what you want. Whether you guys live or die is up to you. Oh my god. At the room, it said that he left the dining hall. That's a shame. I hope I helped calm them down a little. Um. Were you serious when you said you knew of a way to end this game? Yeah. Not sure. Huh? What? How should I put this? Even if I did have an idea, I couldn't tell you. Can't risk anyone to interfere. Rare time. The Angie will pray for your strategy success, Rentaro. You'll get punished. But if you're lying, Atua says he will punish you for three generations to come, okay? <laughs> Now that's a threat. Well, I'll do my best to live up to your expectations, huh? Hmm, actually. I guess I have to do my best. This dude's suspicious. His mannerisms make him suspicious. But... And in this game, is that even possible? I suspect he only said that to defuse the situation and stop Ryoma. I mean, ending this game? <laughs> you don't know that. Maybe Rentaro's hidden talent is actually a huge explosion. In the end, only Atua knows. Rantaro's hidden talent. Hmm. I wouldn't know what it is, but we don't have much time left. I can't worry about that now. I need to do something. I don't have time to worry about things I don't understand. I just need to do what I can. Or else I won't be able to protect everyone. I should go meet up with Suichi. It's the classroom by the stairs to the basement, right? Alright. For everyone. From there, everyone else can decide what should be done. My desire is to fulfill the desires of others, so I shall comply with everyone's final decision. So we can actually tell her to kill herself. Yay! I shall observe. Wait a second. We can't do that. I shall observe the beauty as you all accept that the end is upon you. See, for the past two days, we should have been grinding that damn tunnel, my dude. All humans will die eventually. But I'm not scared because I got a tool with me. Let's leave. Bum ba dum bum ba dum bum bum bum. Alright. 
classroom by the basement, right? Uh, the basement is the other way. Oh my god, please! Good morning, Kaede. Good morning. So early, I saw Suichi. What? Come out of me use research lab. Oh, you don't say. I wonder what he was doing in there so early in the morning. I don't think that anything happened, but in a life or death situation like this, you want to try? You expect people to suddenly develop feelings for each other, right? I don't think so. You're right. Now's not the time for that. The time limit is up tonight anyway. I've been going through so much is strange, but I feel like I've come to accept it. How should I spend the last day of my life? Damn, she's pretty calm about it. Damn, she disappeared. Let me actually talk to the dude that I passed up, apparently. What happened? Something happened. Going to see Rentaro walk by, his face looked scary. Uh, yeah, about that. Ryoma and Rentaro got into a fight. No can do that! Where? Gonta, go stop them. No. It's fine now, so you don't need to worry about it. Sorry. I'm sorry. Gonta, not where he needed most. No. Don't worry about it. If Angie hadn't told me, I wouldn't have known about it either. <laughs> okay. That's right. Shurumi, Kyo, and Angie are in the dining hall today. How about you eat breakfast with them? Oh, going to see. You're going to go to the dining hall. Alright. I don't even think talking with them even matters, to be honest. So this classroom he was talking about, right? Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Put on no song. Here we go, he's alive. Whew, you scared me, Suichi. No. It's alright, I just got here too. Um, How did it go? Did Miu finish the camera? That's... She must have been working all night. She was even too tired to make fun of me. Anyway, here's the result. Two cameras that will take a picture when the sensor detects movement. Remember. And this one will take a picture and trigger this receiver. Of course, there. See, he's like going into detail about this, so we all need this for sure. Mm. Since they're disposable cameras, we'll have to manually wind the film, right? No. You thought of that? She told me that the cameras will wind automatically. Nice. I see. Okay. So since they're uh, once they're set up, they'll take pictures every time the sensor is triggered. Okay. Also, she modified them so that they'll be completely silent to not attract attention. I see. Completely silent. This is perfect. Well, it needs to be. They are absolutely essential to our plan. Uh, do these cameras have flashes? That's yes. They still have flashes on them, but I switched them all. It shouldn't be a problem. But if it's in the dark, wouldn't it be a problem? You wouldn't be able to see the entire. It's gonna be too dark, right? But but we need to make sure they don't get turned on by accident and alert the mastermind. That's right. I'll be careful. Mm -hmm. I'm impressed though. Mew modified them to our specifications. Then. I'll tell you a little bit about how this classroom... Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about this classroom before we set up in the library. Huh? Tell me about this classroom. Is that alright? This is the perfect place to keep watch after we set up the camera. Um, That's fine, but why this classroom? That's true. Because we can see anyone who goes down to the basement with the door open a little. Nice. Look, you can see the staircase, right? Oh yeah, you're right. We can keep a lookout for anyone who goes down to the basement. Hey, there's one more reason I chose this specific classroom. One more reason. Blackboard? No, there's a vent. I hear that. I see that. There's a fucking vent. There's a vent that's probably connected to the library. Is this a vent? That's. It's connected to the library in the basement. You'll recognize this smell immediately. Hmm. The musty. I leaned in closer to the vent. It smells like the musty old books. Does this lead to the library? Well, it's probably a vent to control the humidity in the library. Remember. Remember the duct we noticed in the basement hallway? It leaves here. Who said they... Who said that... No, no, no. There was a profile that somebody said that they hated the humidity or whatever. But a vent in a classroom. That's an odd design choice for a school. And again, everything about the school is odd. Uh, this vent is the other reason I chose the specific classroom to keep watch. This vent is just big enough for someone to be able to fit, so we should watch this carefully too. Mm. I don't think I could fit through here. Maybe I could, but it'd be tough. Yeah. 
I guess this is the perfect spot to keep a lookout. And then, anyway, it's time we should set up the cameras now. I'm getting nervous. My heart is racing. Let's go set up the cameras, dog. Let's do it. People about to die. People about to cry. And people are going to wonder why it had to happen. Bum bum dum bum dum bum set up the cameras. Bum dum bum dum bum dum set up the cameras. Bum dum bum dum bum dum set up the cameras. Set up, set up, set up, set up the cameras. Alright guys. Let y'all know, probably in like the next 25 minutes something's gonna happen. So if you ain't here from the spoilers, you might want to leave now. <laughs> so where did you want to place the camera? You're right. Let's aim the one link to the receiver at the moving bookcase. If we place the security sensor on the book uh, bookcase itself when it opens, the receiver will let us know. Mm -hmm. and if we place the camera to face the moving bookcase, okay. the camera should have captured the exact moment the mastermind moved the bookcase. Mm. Okay, then where are we putting the other two sensors? Remember, there are two entrances to the library, yo. Yep. The front entrance near the stairs and the rear entrance to the hallway. The same one at each entrance. That way, we'll have pictures of everyone who enters the library. Huh? How about over there? Um. Didn't you say a person could fit through the vent that connects to the classroom? Hey. But should we make sure a person could could actually fit through it? That's. I think it'll be fine since we'll be keeping watch in the classroom. But we should investigate it a little more just in case. But we can't reach that high. We need something to stand on the moving ladder. You can probably use this ladder. Whoa. Now that I'm up here, this is pretty high. It's kind of scary. Kind of scary? Or is it actually scary? Do you want to switch? Nah, I'm fine. By the way, can you see my, um, delicates? Uh, sorry. Sorry, huh? So we did see them. Bruh. <laughs> Well, whatever. He can't unsee them. Anyway, anyway this is the vent. <laughs> it's a great cover in the vent, so I don't think anyone can go through it. It's not like it matters. I don't know why you're worried about somebody seeing your underwear when y'all all have the possibility of dying. Uh, there we go. Oh, the grate came off pretty easily. I don't know if you can fit in that. Did you break something, Kaede? Um, no. I didn't break it. I saw the look on his face. He probably thinks I'm a klutz. I pushed the grate into the duct. Then I lifted my body and looked inside. So how's it look? Could a person fit in there? Hmm, it would be pretty difficult, but you might be able to crawl through. It would be a small body ass dude then. I can't really get to the vent with all these books in the way though. Well, we'll be able to see the entrance to the vent in the classroom. So that should be okay, right? Just in case, I'll stack more books around the vent so no one can get through. With that, I began to arrange the books around the vent. After I finished stacking the books, I climbed down the ladder. Uh, Are you okay? What's wrong? Yeah. This will work. This will definitely work. Huh? Got it? I think this plan might actually protect everyone. It definitely will. This plan is perfectly composed by chopping ballets. You know? Wow. I actually read like complicated contraptions like Rube Goldberg machines and stuff. What? How positive is this will work? This setup is perfect. Uh, um, Do you really think so? Of course. We'll definitely catch the mastermind and then we'll all escape. What if they're wearing a hoodie? What if they're wearing like some dark clothing? You just won't tell who it is. Oh, right. So let's hurry up and set up the camera. Then... I mean, even if you do did this, Who's stopping them from wearing, like, a mask and stuff? Uh, Hold on, I had an idea while I was on top of the bookcase. What if we put the camera up there? I'm sure the mastermind wouldn't notice it. But, but with all the books stacked up on top, I don't know if there's room for the camera. No? Then I'll test it out while you prepare the sensor on the bookcase. I'll organize the books on top of the bookcase and see if I can make room for a camera on the bookcase. Right? That way, we won't waste any time messing around with the bookcase, right? Okay. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea to keep talking about the bookcase. Oh, right. All right, then let's do it. Let's get the plan in motion with this bookcase. I climbed up the ladder and looked at the top of the bookcase. Hmm. <laughs> there are way more books than 
I expect it. The top of the bookcase is covered, end to end with cluttered stacks of books. Oh, right. This is nothing. Imagine if you had to personally put down the cameras each in each position. You had to select the positions. That would be ridiculous. There's too many books. It might be too hard to set up a camera here. I knew it. I thought so. No. I just gotta try a little harder. Hey. I know you don't like to admit defeat, but really, it's all right. Continue moving the ladders. I kept reorganizing the books. These books are so heavy. What is this? An encyclopedia? I flipped open this book. Wait. Is this really the time to be reading a book? Uh, I get distracted easily when I'm organizing things. That's why I made that excuse. I rushed to reorganize the heavy books, but... Um... Looks like there are too many books after all. You can't really make space, can you? Uh, It'd be easier if I can move them to the ground, but they are really showing them doing this. You're right. We have to minimize any risk of the mass of my noticing the cameras. Uh, and I guess it'd be better to put the camera between the books instead of on the bookcase. Right? Yeah, they talk more about the bookcase. <laughs> you look oddly happy. I love talking about bookcases. Uh, no, I don't. If we put them on top of the bookcase, the angle wouldn't quite reach. Uh, here, I thought it'd be a good idea to put it on the bookcase. Is that alright? So about the places to put the cameras. No more on the bookcases, okay? God. We decided to place a security sensor on top of the moving bookcase. And the camera linked to it will be set up right here. Okay. That way it will capture the movement, the mass of all, uh, the mass of my moves. The moment the mass of my moves the bookcase. The bookcase, the bookcase, the bookcase. We're gonna <laughs> place the other two cameras near the exit in the entrance, right? I suppose so. I think here and here in this bookcase is good. They would have to pass by here no matter which door they use. Yeah. Unless they come from the air ducts. Mm -hmm. Then I'll set up the camera that's connected to the security sensor. I'll set it carefully so the camera has a clear shot when the mastermind moves from the bookcase. Then... Let me take care of the security sensor on top of the bookcase. Yes, we'll set the cameras near each door. Hey. <laughs> Oh, I almost forgot. I, almost, I brought duct tape from the warehouse. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for bringing the duct tape. Yes. With that, we go to work. I meticulously place the cameras in the gaps of the bookshelf. We need to set up the camera carefully so that it's aimed at the moving bookcase. Yes, we know. I better use a lot of duct tape so the camera won't fall out of the position. These cameras are important, so I got to do it right. The bookcase. Yeah. All right, that should do it for the bookcase. Okay. I'm finished too with this bookcase. <laughs> hmm. No matter which entrance they use, the mastermind will be caught. Yeah, they're completely forgetting about the damn duct tape, huh? If they move the bookcase in front of the hidden door, our sensor will detect that the bookcase. Mm -hmm. At the moment, the bookcase, the bookcase camera attached to the bookcase on top of the sensor bookcase will snap the critical picture. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> they spent an extra amount of time just trying to set this up for us. They could have just completely ignored all that other shit and just showed us the diagram of uh, where they placed the cameras. They didn't need to show us all that. They did not need to show us all that. This plan would probably work. Not just probably, it'll definitely work. Then, All right, then the final step, turn the sensors off. We should turn them on before we leave. All right. There's a 10 second delay as it starts up, so we have to be quick. Yeah. It'd be a waste of film if it took our pictures. After setting our trap and powering on the cameras attached to the sensor, we click, quickly exited the library and left all the bookcases as they were. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, the bookcase doesn't knock over the sensor. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just wanted a reason to say bookcase. Now we wait for the mastermind to show themselves. Okay. There's still some time left. Do you want to go see anybody? No. I'd rather focus on the plan. Besides, I'm sure everyone else is safe. <laughs> Once we get out of here, I'll have all the time in the world to see them. Right. That's true. Let's go to the classroom. 
Bookcases, 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 bookcases. Bro, that's gonna be the meme in this playthrough. Bookcases. <laughs> bookcases. How do we know no one's just waiting in there right now? Upon entering the classroom, a wave of anxiety suddenly overwhelmed me. I never felt like it would beat out of my chest at any moment. Then... Let's keep the door open a little so we can see anyone going to the basement. Uh, Crack it. Uh, um, I brought the security sensor receiver. Hey! Could you hold on to it, please? I just feel like you'd be better suited for that than me. There's a power switch on it. Make sure you don't turn it off by accident. No. You hold on to it, Suichi. You're the one who came up with the plan, and I trust you. Um. Suichi, you just said I'm better than you at something. Why do you say something like that anyway? Huh? What? You know? It's good that we have some time left, because I wanted to talk to you about that. Uh, talk um... to me? It's dusk already. Aren't you bored? You... You are bored, aren't you? Really? What does that mean? It's dusk already. You are bored, aren't you? I thought he said eight for some reason. You know? Probably none of my business, but I think you should be more confident. Right? Especially since the ultimate initiative selected you as the ultimate detective. No. I shouldn't be the ultimate detective. I'm not even a real detective. Huh? What do you mean? I'm... I didn't even really want to be a detective. My uncle runs a detective business. I would sometimes help out as an apprentice. It was usually just cheating couples, background checks. But... But one day I came across a murder case completely by chance. Uh, I saw um... them before the police did. They called me the boy detective. That's when I got scouted by the ultimate initiative. So I only solved one case. Huh? Even so... It's still amazing you saw the murder case. Most people can't do that. No. I wonder. I wonder if uh, it was really a good thing I saw that case. Oh God. Whoa. The look on his face when we caught him. I can still see it even now. He stared at me like he hated me more than anything else in the world. I like how he's not remembering exactly how the person looked like. Like. It's a figure, it's a dark figure. It could be anybody in this room. It could actually be anybody in this classroom, actually, which is crazy. Later, I heard that he murdered the victim to get revenge for his family. That's wild. The victim was abusive. They drove the culprit's relative to suicide. People told me the culprit was right to do what he did. The victim deserved it. But I led the police right to him. Of course he hated me. That's not true. It's not, like you, it's not like you took sides. You uncovered the truth. That's what detectives do, right? You're right. I uncovered the truth, which makes it my fault. And I'm still suffering the consequences. I'm... Ever since that one stupid case, I've been so afraid of uncovering the truth. I'll never forget those eyes, the hatred, the way they stared into me. Uh, um... Death flags! Death flag! Here's the death flag! Here's the death flag! That's why I have trouble looking people in the eyes sometimes. So that's why he wears that hat. I'm... I'm not a real detective, Kaede. What kind of stupid detective is afraid of finding the truth? I noticed Suichi's hands were trembling. I gently reached out and held his hand. Kaede? I wish there was a piano here. I would play you a song to help you cheer up. Okay. You ain't gonna kiss him, though. Hmm, a pretty song to play for you. Oh, like Claire de Lune by Debussy. It's a soothing song that calms your heart, like the moon's reflection on water. <laughs> you noticed, huh? Yeah, I'm shaking too. But I'd be a mess if you weren't here. I wouldn't have been able to do anything. I would have been so lost. I'm glad you're here with me, Shuichi. Uh-huh. With you by my side. I feel like I can stand up to anything. You give me the courage I need to take on the mastermind. Yep, and that hope is about to get taken. You're raising too many death flags, my boy. So please, be more confident. Please don't do this. Don't do this. I believe in you. 
So you should definitely believe in yourself. Okay, I'll try. I don't know if I can, but I'll try. Yep, that's a promise. Yeah, that tension in my gut right now. Feels like somebody's about to die. After letting go of his hand, I quickly changed the subject. Yeah, that's right. I think you would look way cooler if you didn't wear that hat. Huh? What are you talking about? Huh? I'm serious here. Once we're out of here, I want you to show me what you look like without the hat, okay? Aww. I just want to see everyone smile. You know? I love seeing the expressions people make when they're enjoying themselves. That's why I play piano, to see the smiles on everyone's faces. Mm -hmm. And that's why we need to expose the mastermind and end this dumb killing game. Right? You think it's that simple, huh? After our serious talk, we talked about this and that, this and that to kill some time. We did all we could and prepared for whatever happened next. I was nervous, of course. You're making me nervous with this long ass buildup. But all we could do was wait for the moment to arrive. As the time drew closer and closer, drowsy and drowsier, the moment arrived. 